Jason, I'm in the shop here and I keep hearing this word stretch. And to me, I'm thinking a normal, what a normal person would think of a stretch, but in the Jeep world, what is a stretch? So in the Jeep world, what stretch is, is moving the axle position. So you're taking it from factory wheelbase and adding more wheelbase to it. In this one's case, factory wheelbase is 98. We just got done, we moved the rear end almost seven inches backwards. And why would someone want to do this? More wheelbase helps make them more stable. The big reason of why doing it is for the wheelbase and stability, but what also goes along with it is fixing the rear suspension geometry that sucks from the factory. You start wheeling with a bunch of two doors, you know, say like the big tires, a lot on any steep climb. It's to do with the rear suspension geometry. So we fix that in this kit, plus gaining more wheelbase. So less departure, you can just drop off a ledge and not drag the butt. A little more wheelbase helps with stability, makes it a little more stable on them steep climbs. There's a bunch of advantages to doing it. It's a lot of work. Yeah. But so do you want to show us what Yep. what all you did? So and that's that's why I lift, got this thing up in the air. There's a whole bunch of stuff that changes. So start with the rear axle. All the bracket trees die. Strip it down to just axle tubes. You start 100% over. So you'll get the truss which I'll have the upper mount already welded to it new lower mounts which moves the track bar mount adding a longer track bar It's so you can get a weld on either side of the joint. Because this too matches the width of that joint. Okay. It's also to give it room for when that joint moves, the track bar doesn't hit the mount. You think of everything. Because you can see that it's almost the width of that tube. Right. So if you look down here, it's crushed. So when the track bar deflects a little bit, it has room to move inside of the mount and not get bound up in the mount. Okay. Not that they move a whole lot front to back wise, but they do. That's a link suspension. The axle moves forward and back through suspension cycle. Factory track bar is about right here. Oh my goodness. Wow. Which the benefit of doing that fixes the roll center in the suspension. Most people won't notice it. We've been doing this long enough. We know the corks. Um, so if you throw it hard into a corner, you'll feel the rear end just basically pick up and feel like the Jeep stopped pulling over. It's to do with the roll center. Putting the longer track bar in it help solves that problem. Um, and then it's also a new chassis side bracket. Obviously with the stretch, you need to change all of that because factory track bar mounts somewhere up here now. Oh wow. So then new coil buckets to slide the coil the upper coil bucket backwards. New lowers with bump stop pads. Um, I still have to put the extensions back in it, but they can't have this. So there's still a three inch block that I gotta put back on the axle. Um, New lower controller mounts, which are heavier, more robust than the factory ones. Um, that's kind of it back here. It retains factory shock mounts on the upper, so you only have to change the lowers. And then if you come this side, so you have both new lower controller mounts. 
and then buried around the axle, the upper th there's an upper three link mount here, which is new for this kit. Because factory, it's a parallel four link, now it's a three link. Oh, and this is the top of the truss yep. that we saw. Okay. Yep. And then the upper mount drops onto the top of the truss. Okay. Um, still got to finish the exhaust, but I can do that over here on this lift. And then you'll put on skid plates and sliders? And I got to design That's the sliders to go oh. with the corners and the rear bumper. Because now the rear tire is at the back of the body. But there again, I'm not sure because the body is crushed right there. So it might be pushed forward because of the body. Well, if you're building a piece. Then yeah, there's a cow on the bottom here. too. And then that. Yeah, it has to have a radius on the end of it to make it look like something. So will this just go over? This just goes over and then you just cut. Yep. Trace off. trace the body with the corner and your sharpie and take it back off and start cutting. Uh-huh. So I will be building a guardian similar bumper to our JK Guardian series. Um, that's what will be going on in the back of this. Similar, couple tweaks, but for the most part they'll be similar to our JK Guardian. So is this the first JL that's been stretched? There's been a few of uh, people doing it themselves. I don't know of any other manufacturer that is building a production kit to do this. Um, we got everything figured out now. There's, we actually have another one potentially coming to get this done. Once we do it to the second one, then we'll release this kit to the public. And it'll be a 100% production ready. Give me your money and <laughs> this is what you can come out with. And